faith is given to be shared. Standing before you and trembling a little before you, waiting for the moment that when something I say connects us to the Lord, then realizing that it is the Lord that is doing this work and that makes me more faithful. Truly, I am humbled. With that epiphany, I better understand and even see the faith of my mother. I'm encouraged and warmed by the memory of her and my desire to follow by her example, to walk in her shoes again. I wonder if my yen for social work is something organic that feels like comfort food that not only tells you some people can really cook, but sticks to your ribs in a substantial way, is rooted in coming to know and love Christ through the faith and love of my mother. Is this, this is where it all began. Or is it simply and secretly, as in quietly my desire to make a difference in this world, or just maybe, just maybe, it's because once upon a time there was a man named Tom, who I loved, and who loved me. And at the same time, and I blossomed so strongly that I was present and able to see him through his illness. Faith from the beginning to the end has comforted and challenged me. And so here I stand before you tonight as a social worker compelled by faith. My faith journey begins when I was a little girl. I grew up in a home where both of my parents were Baptists, but they raised me Catholic. They enrolled me in a Catholic school and allowed me to be baptized Christian in the Catholic faith. My mother attended Mass with me every Sunday and was involved in the Catholic Church. I went on to attend Catholic High School and I received a master's degree in social work from the Catholic College, Loyola University. My mother was very instrumental in planting the seed. My parents and I would pray every night before dinner and each night before I went to bed, my mother would pray with me. She led by her example of prayer. By the time I graduated from Loyola, I was already formed to want something more in my life, to want something more in my life. I was well taught to make a difference. I longed to be a transformative something, a person who makes a difference and makes things happen and makes life better. It didn't take rocket science for me to find social work. It took faith and it took time. Social work has not disappointed me. In fact, if not faith, it continues to call me to a vocational response that fits and seems right and feels good to me. I appreciate the honor and the privilege of being able to help patients and their loved ones find their way through unfamiliar territory. It's been a huge gift to feel sort of like a midwife for the dying. To be present and to journey with Christ, with people at the end of their life, that's the important work that I do. That's what has meaning for me. Certainly the work is needed and it's valuable and it's rewarding and it's difficult at times and many times I have said I can't do this anymore. But to provide hope for a good death and to see recognition in a patient's face that you understand and that you get it and they can trust you. Because the focus in hospice is the hope for a good death. And sometimes you have to hold that hope up for the family. Hospice has never disappointed me. It has connected me with a wider, broader family 
family system that I had known but at times had lost or laid down. It has opened up me to a joy undistilled by self-motivation and derived entirely from sources beyond me. It's dropped me squarely in the realm of a love in which I had no real business being, but was privileged to be in, and has provided awesome moments, events I could not control, plan, or script begin to unfold. So what has been powerful for me and meaningful for me in my work with those individuals who are sick, who are dying, that these are the times that I am personally touched where I couldn't explain, is it just me or is it a higher power working through me? More often than not, it is a higher power working through me because I constantly am encountering people I continue to practice, when I continue to practice my own faith, as I continue to practice it. I love the work I do. I'm passionate about being a social worker. And it's not hard for me to, to talk about what I do. My life has been so enriched. How <coughs> can I not do this? So the question is, despite one's deepest fears, can you be obedient to the challenges of God? And the answer for me is, yes, Lois.